Hey everyone, Selwyn here from Wintering. On today's Mindset Monday video, I wanted to talk about being a fitness conservative. Uh, has nothing to do with politics, but what it does have everything to do with is not jumping on the latest bandwagon, jumping on the latest fad or phase of training, whatever's cool in the moment, uh, probably isn't necessary for you to get into. Um, we've had a lot of training history, a lot of different training styles, and this isn't a say that new training styles don't work, but for the most part, when you come across something that's like new secret style of training, new secret diet, new secret trick that can help you be better, reality is probably not going to do what the, what the promise is say it's going to do. Uh, the basic principles kind of stand the test of time for a reason because they work and they work for a really long time in the past. And the only reason people don't like doing them is because they're pretty boring. Um, the, the, the basic steps to get to where you want to go in fitness are pretty simple, like they're pretty simple and straightforward, uh, but that doesn't mean that they're easy to accomplish. It does take a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, and a lot of time is going to be expended in trying to reach your goals of getting stronger, losing weight, putting on muscle, all those, the, pretty much the three things that anyone ever wants to do in the gym. They're going to take a lot of time. There's no secret strategy to getting to any of those goals. They're all going to rely on the same basic tenets, you know, eat well and move more. That's going to boil down to those two things. And yes, we can add complexity. Yes, we add specificity. Yes, we have to look at our goals to determine how we approach that. Uh, but jumping on the latest trend of this vitamin does that, this supplement does that, um, this new exercise does that, training, only doing high intensity uh, interval training is the only way to go. Uh, whatever the, the fad or whatever the new article is at the, for that week or that month, it is, I would relegate that to noise and really just read it for, you know, amusement and kind of just throw it away and forget about it and go back to your regular training pattern. Go back to what's tried and true because that's what's worked in the past. has worked very successfully for a lot of people and there's really no need to jump on these bandwagons because A, we don't really know the long-term efficacy of them. And also, are you wasting your money buying these weird supplements that aren't actually going to do anything? You know, the reason that creatine is so successful as a supplement is because it's uh, been around for the longest amount of time and it has the most amount of research around it. And people are going to throw out that there's new creatine uh, variants like crealkaline, all these weird type of creatines that aren't just creatine monohydrate. And all they are is expensive forms of creatine that according to the research is actually worse for you and isn't more beneficial. So you're spending more money to get uh, an inferior product. So that's just one example of things where you don't really want to jump on the latest fad, latest, the latest cool thing or whatever that may be, because it, 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 there's no need for it necessarily, unless it's something that really interests you. Just look at the cost of what it is that you're doing. That doesn't have to necessarily be monetarily, but cost in terms of, you know, time spent researching it, time spent executing on it. Um, could you have been doing a better program while you were doing this random uh, training thing that came across the internet for like a couple of seconds? So hopefully that helps, you know, keeps you cap keeps you on track and keeps you focused. Kind of just put the blinders on and, and work your path that you've chosen from well-researched uh, trained principles that are hopefully are being taught to you by someone that has been in the industry for a while and has some sort of basis in you know evidence-based research so you know evidence-based recommendations i should say this has been someone from winter and remember about life through strength